wanted to tell you a little bit about why I flipped my classroom. I teach English language learners, and what I found was through teaching the English language learners, um, we don't all have time to go over the basics. So I wanted to go ahead and um, provide a site uh, online for my English language learners to get the basics. The basics in science, the basics in social studies, the basics in language arts, and the basics in math. So that we could have an opportunity in many lessons throughout the ESL classroom time to go over these basics and to review the basics. But I needed to not be able to have necessarily time to teach all of the basics. So I wanted the students to go ahead and on their own time, um, or maybe even the night before, or maybe even at the very beginning of the class when I'm going to do the mini lesson, watch the flipped video session so that they can see what I'm talking about when I'm talking about the basics of science or social studies or language arts or math. So the first reason why I created this flipped classroom site is because I wanted to provide a site online for my English language learners to go to and for my colleagues even to go to if they wanted my English language learners who are in their regular cl classrooms to go and find something to maybe work on something when they're done with the regular work. The second reason why I wanted to create a flipped classroom site is because I wanted to provide more time for student talk. What I've found is that for English language acquisition, our students really need to go ahead and have the opportunity to talk in class. And we don't have that opportunity a whole lot. So I want to provide more opportunity for my English language learners to talk in class so that they can receive their English language acquisition a little bit quicker. The last reason why I wanted to flip my classroom is because I wanted to allow the students to go at their own pace. There are lots of things that we review all the time and as we're reviewing these basics in math and science and social studies and language arts, the students sometimes need more time to process or need time to review. So now with the flipped classroom site, the, ES, the ESL students, the English language learners, have the ability to go at their own pace and they can go through the videos on this flipped classroom site and learn the basics at the pace that they need to or review what aspect of the basics that they need to. So the three reasons why I decided to flip the classroom this year were to um, provide a site for English language learners to get the basics in English language arts, math, science, and social studies so that they can more quickly gain language acquisition in their content areas and in school. I wanted to provide more time in my own classroom for the students to talk and use English so that they may acquire English more quickly. And I wanted to allow my students to have the opportunity to, on their own, in the class, go at their own pace so that they can be learning at their own pace and reviewing at the pace that they need to, or maybe they forgot a concept and all of a sudden they're like, oh wait, I need to go and review that concept. So I wanted to provide that opportunity and that resource for my ESL students. And also I'm hoping that maybe some of my um, colleagues uh, at my school will also use this resource of my flipped classroom site. Thank you.